Hello friends! Today it is early December. We are gearing up for our annual holiday road trip down to Florida and we are taking the Tesla in for some service. So come along with us and let's see how seamless this process might be. We don't know. We've never done it before. Yeah. Let's go find out together. James decided to go, like, go check out the Diet car. Coke. Yeah, James had to pick up Diet Coke from the car. And while he was down in the garage, he did a, a tuning test on the tire tread. So uh, explain, like, what that is. So if no one has ever heard of this, and I didn't know either, I was just in the car. I was actually downloading an update with my uh, phone because we live in a condo and our car is not anywhere close to Wi-Fi. But so I was searching while we're downloading uh, the software update and I started looking up like, how do you check? Cause we're about to go on a 2000 kilometer uh, road trip or 4,000 cause we got to come back after, but <laughs> each way is about 2000 to Florida. And so someone online uh, did a little video and they said with this Toonie, the ways you check it out is like a, a good one would be um, up to the paws of the polar bear, like above the gold part. And then if if it's um, if it's like medium, like mid level, like maybe it's it, it's going to be in that border between the silver and the gold on the toonie. And if it's not good, it'll be below the gold. So you'll see silver essentially sticking out. So of course, curious me, I went out to the tire and I stuck it in. And sure enough, uh, I could see the gold and I could see the silver under it. So I was kind of, not like freaking out, but you know that weird anxiety you get inside, like, oh no, <laughs> we're about to go on a 2000 kilometer drive. What if something happens? Um, so basically ran upstairs. I'm like, we gotta, we gotta figure something out with our tires. We either gotta get it checked out to see, or we've got to, um, we've got to change them. So I went and searched around, like where's the best place to get tires? Surprisingly enough, uh, Tesla actually, like cost and everything and service uh, was more or less better than everywhere else. And, and they're really good tires. They're gonna give you their Pirelli something. And like, plus we were concerned because it is December. And so a lot of people are making tire appointments right now to get snow tires on if they haven't done that. There hasn't been much snow in Toronto yet. So lots of people sort of delay until the first real snowfall or just before it's forecast uh, to get their snow tires on. So we were kind of concerned that we wouldn't even be able to get an appointment before we leave, but. Yeah. And so I opened up the, I went on their website and when you go through like the shop process through Tesla's actual website, at least for accessories and for your car, it tells you go into the app and, and like look it up and, and do it through there. And so I was thinking, okay, like this only way I can, so I have to. So I went into the app and started looking at purchasing tires and it actually walks you into like a full service appointment flow, which like, what are you looking for? Oh, like I need tires. And so they set up a service appointment and like this whole process happens through your, your phone. You tell them what you want and like what you would like to happen in the service. So it's like, I need new tires. You put in like all the info about your car and they have recommendations and you pick what you want. Um, and then basically after the, it goes to, I guess, some sort of service advisor who then sends you back like a quote of everything before um, they do the official booking of it all and you read through it and you're like that looks good or that doesn't and you either uh, accept or reject it essentially. That's so cool. It, it is. <laughs> so we accepted it and then it pulls up this whole dialogue in your messaging uh, of the Tesla app like okay like here's where you go and here's where you park. And like essentially the way it looks like is I don't even really need to talk to anyone. We kind of just drop it off in this area. You have to have your, your key card for the car, not the app. Like obviously you want the app to drive, but you don't need the app for the appointment. In fact, if you don't have your key card, they give you a warning that they're going to have to charge you to program like a temporary one to get to use your car and all that stuff. But it sounds like you leave it there. You're going to get status through the Tesla app of 
like at the repair status, like what they're doing when it's done. And then basically like I've already uh, set up like the prepayment for it. I just put a credit card on it after I prove they want that. And then after it's done, you just go and you, I guess, self-inspect. And if you're not happy with anything, I, I imagine you would talk to them. But if you're happy, you just leave. So cool. Yeah. So it sounds really cool. And to tell you honestly, when we bought the car, it was very, we bought it in like a deep pandemic time. It was very much like I just kind of paid through the app and <laughs> show up, up and pick up a car. And there was paperwork and you sign <laughs> it and you drop it in a slot and the car is yours. Like we never it. saw a single person. I don't even think maybe like very briefly. Maybe like I <laughs> quickly asked someone something because I was confused that this was how <laughs> kind of simple the process was but you know I get it this isn't the process for everyone some people really need that kind of advisor or salesperson to kind of insure them make sure their decisions are right maybe they want to argue with someone I don't know but for me personally the less interaction I have with direct people actually makes me feel better so yeah. that's just the way I like it I'm fully I'm fine with the Tesla model of like the sticker price is just is what it is. I don't, I'm not like a wheel a negotiator. Yeah, like, <laughs> like I am a negotiator, but I don't care. Like the, the value seem fine for me, right? Yeah. So I don't care to kind of nickel and dime these, these few things. And overall with the car, this is uh, the first time we've ever had to take it in for like a, a more significant service that we had one other time, but they actually they came, came to, to our garage. Yeah, they came to our condo garage and did the repair uh, there, which was fantastic. Um, so overall, like the service and all that for the car, we've had it, we're coming up to three years. Like, I love that. You don't need to do oil changes. You don't need to do any of those miscellaneous things. So I love this model of, of hands off, just deal through the app and, you know, just drop things off and figure it out that way. I just do. So, uh, yeah. So come along with us. We'll, I guess we'll get into the nitty gritty of the process once we get there and we'll figure out uh, if we enjoy it or not. Luckily, we've picked a place around a lot of uh, shopping uh things because we do need to do a bit of Christmas stuff and all that so um, we definitely have ways to kill time plus I need to do a bit of work so <laughs> if you're watching work yes I have been doing things during this time <laughs> um okay before we before we shut off this video I have a question for any of the ladies out there because as we were filming this all I can see is all of the makeup that's on the corner of my jacket here um, it's driving me bananas and I don't I don't want to send it in for dry cleaning because this is my winter coat and I need it So does anyone have any tips on how to get this off? If you do leave me a comment because I can clearly use that So remember when I said that there was no snow? We're maybe five kilometers north of where we live and they've got snow up here That does not exist where we live right now that this actually happens every year. It's a very interesting thing with, uh, we're like central downtown Toronto. And we live right by the lake, which I think is a protective factor over here. Yeah, so we find like our parents sometimes who kind of live- Not know, that far. minutes uh, away from us, like 10 kilometers, 20 kilometers-ish. Uh, they're like, oh my God, it's like so snowy. And we're like, we, like it's- We got nothing. Snow <laughs> So it's, it's really interesting that even just, we're probably about 10 minutes from where we live. We're still like right in Toronto, uh, but there's lots of snow here. There's We saw this just a few minutes ago. We're like, what, it's snow? <laughs> so yeah. So maybe people already have their snow tires on. <laughs> All right, so here we are at uh, the Tesla dealership in Woodbridge. We. They gave us a pin to drop our car off and it looks like it's somewhere around here, but we can't actually tell if it's right around here. So even though it says we don't have to uh, talk to anyone, we're just going in to talk to someone <laughs> just to be sure. It's more our confusion versus the process. Maybe you have to do it one time to know for sure. Yeah, we'll, ask. we'll find out. <laughs> All right, so we went in, we talked to a very nice gentleman. Uh, the car is in the right place. 
Um, we, he said, even if we ever have questions or if we want to go in, we're always welcome to uh, step into the service uh, counter and they're always happy to help us, even though it is contact free if we want it to be. Uh, so that was nice. They let us actually roam through like the employee area to yeah. go from the sales to the service. Everyone's super nice here. He, he even offered, he was like, if you guys are in a rush, we can we can prioritize it. We just said, don't worry about it. Just, we don't want to disrupt people's workflows and let's so just leave it uh, in the queue however it's supposed to be dealt with. He said, because it's a wheel alignment and a tire change, uh, it's probably going to take a couple of hours. We said, no worries, we're going shopping, it's Christmas. Um, and I asked him, like, can you give the vehicle a once over because, you know, like we're going to uh, going to be on a road trip. And he said, yep, no problem. Uh, they're going to check the brakes uh, and the tires standard. And then while as everything is off, he said, we'll look and do an inspection. And if there's anything that needs to be addressed, they'll let us know. And uh, yeah. yeah, like the only thing I think that you ever need to take your Tesla in service for uh, for like kind of regular maintenance stuff would be tires. There's no fluids, there's no... Uh, yeah, we could cross here. <laughs> there's no fluids and there's none of that uh, other nonsense. Going yeah, on. the only fluid really is uh, the washer fluid, I guess. Yeah, which I do myself. Maybe some lubricants <laughs> uh, in, the, in the doors and hinges and stuff like that, but yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. So it's pretty, uh, so far, pretty happy. Yep. Should we get this sweater for James? Super cool, ugly Christmas Star Wars sweater. I think he looks great in it. So this is kind of funny. We're looking at the estimated time and it's saying that it's going to be ready at 11 p.m. tonight. He did tell us it's going to take a couple of hours and I'm assuming that they just put this in because like to have a time but hopefully it's not 11 p.m. by the time it's done. Our car's messed up and we have no clue. Yeah <laughs> also we're in Toys R Us looking at Lego. So it's one o'clock and our car is now ready but we just got to Starbucks and James is working so we're gonna wait it out a little. So it's a moment of truth. Almost. We just got the message that it is completed. Actually, it was really funny because uh, right before, like we were walking, we were finally like, we need a drink or something because it's about an hour and a half we were roaming around. And uh, we look in the app and we see our car driving. Yeah. <laughs> because in the app, it shows you like pretty much all the states. Like if a door is open, the door will be open in the app. If it's driving, it'll show it on a road with the wheels spinning and you'll see, uh, like a moving graphic. Sorry, we're about to get there. Yeah. And uh, so anyways, we finally sit down. I've got a big meeting where I have to get on my video and my computer out. <laughs> and we literally sit down, open everything, and we get the message, okay, your car is dying. <laughs> <laughs> so of course you have to sit here through the whole meeting, whatever. But the sum of that all is, that none of that info mattered to you, but our car is ready and we finally get to see it. So, so far, I would say the process has been really good. We'll find out though once we get in the car. And I was really excited because, so we're up in Woodbridge, which is where I grew up, and I ran into a friend from elementary school up here at Starbucks. And our aunt owns there, like when you're Italian down here in Woodbridge. Yeah, like, this is a place for all Italians. Everything and works <laughs> everywhere. And, yeah. Very fun visit up to Woodbridge. <laughs> Okay, so now we're back and we're trying to find Lucky, our vehicle. No, that one doesn't have a bumper. <laughs> Where are you, Lucky? So many Teslas. Usually it's pretty easy to find it in the parking lot because there's not a whole bunch of Teslas around, but there sure are a lot in a Tesla parking lot. That's for sure. Look at how cute this is. This is someone's brand new vehicle. It has a bow in it. There's a little congratulations, your name here. How cute is that? And we found Lucky. So I'll show you the test now. So you take this toonie. Okay. There is a saying, I just don't remember it. But like the best is when the feet of the bear match the tread. So come down here. Let's take a quick look. So you go in here and see when you stick it in. Yeah. 
So actually this, I guess these are just lower profile, but that's still pretty good. Yesterday, it was like that. Where? Where your thumb is? No, see the silver stick oh. at the bottom? But now it's, it goes that's in. good. So, yeah, okay. so if you're in the gold, you're good. Okay, gotcha. But yesterday, ours are like that. That's why I'm like, yeah, oh that's shit, we need to. And it'll be a bit different at the end here. It'll be a little less, but the center is where you want to do it. Nice. They just put your key in the center when you pick it up. Okay. So what do we do to finalize this appointment and get everything all situated before we drive off of here? Let's figure it out. Okay, so everything looked good to me. So I'm about to pay my life away. So we'll click the pay button on here. I obviously can't fully show you. So in the app, there's pay just processed. like a pay button. We're good. So we paid for it. Begin pickup now. Okay. And then after you pay, so we're already in it, but it literally takes you right to your vehicle. Confirm pick. Oh, well, I had my phone, so it just opened, but I guess I was maybe supposed to pay before we got in, but it's fine. And that's it. Pickup complete. There we go. First service appointment. How would you rate it? Uh, for the most part, it was really good. Uh, there's really nothing to complain about. We didn't even have to talk to anyone, but there's this gentleman actually here who's kind of at the front desk and it looks like a, a, he's a service advisor. One of the nicest people I've met um, really just kind of uh, confirmed like you're good and, and wanted to just make you feel really comfortable while you're here. They would have let you sit inside. He would have, they would have done extra stuff if we really wanted to. Um, but yeah, he, he just really nice guy, really good service. That it's people like that that will make your brand super strong, right? Um, even if Tesla wasn't like we think it's really good, I know everyone does not align with that, but we think it's really good. Um, but it's people like that that make it that much better, right? Yep, totally. Yeah. All right, so that's it from our service appointment. Um, Hope you enjoyed, hope this was informative to you. Like if you're like us and you are sort of a newer Tesla owner, I mean, we've been owners for three years now, but we still never had to really do this process. So um, we recorded this video with the intention of like, you know, sharing what it's like for people who maybe haven't gone through this. Uh, so if you have any questions uh, that you think we can answer, uh, let us know. One more thing. We actually also share uh, a lot of stuff like this because um, we personally have a hard time finding videos that do this for you, as well as, you know, we try to make it seem more, we just be ourselves, right? We're kind of goofy adults <laughs> that this are is like kids. We bought some Lego, in fact, while we were walking around, but uh, it's, by the way, it's December 7th, huge sale at Toys R Us Lego, like almost <laughs> All the different brands are 20% off. And I think it runs for the next uh, week or two or something like that, according to the flyers. So um, yeah. we're going to try and get this video up like ASAP within the next couple of days. So if you're watching this and you need Lego, go to Toys R Us. Yeah. They're price matching until the end of December too. Not uh, some Amazon that we tried. Yes. <laughs> the Chewy, the big Chewy. Uh, is really cheap on Amazon. It's cheaper than the 20% off. I think it normally goes 260. Uh, here you'd get a $52 off at Toys R Us. Right now on Amazon, I think it's 189. Yeah. Yeah. So buy it on Amazon. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Maybe. Like we really should not buy these big Lego purchases right before Christmas. I like. I should get presents. What do you mean? Hmm. I don't get presents. Let other people get presents for us. Uh, people don't get it. <laughs> like. <laughs> People can't really buy the presents we want to buy ourselves. And you know what? Quite honestly, some of our parents think it's ridiculous and they just won't buy it because yeah. they don't believe we should be playing with Lego. So I think we're going to go home and play with some Lego. Work. Yeah, okay. Work. We're grown-ups too, yeah. Catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye.